This is shockwave therapy to the perineal muscles. Some people would call this myofascial treatment. We're going to start by applying the larger head to the shockwave machine. This is a 30 millimeter head rather than the 15 millimeter head that we might use for a smaller area. You unscrew the head, screw the new one into place, put back on the rubber coating. And we're now ready to go on to the settings. We're going to set 90 millijoules for 2000 shocks at 12 hertz. Here we're using the supplied oil. In the literature, castor oil is recommended as it doesn't cavitate like ultrasound gel. Although I've got to say, ultrasound gel is often easier to use than castor oil. It uh, just takes up a bit more of the space between the head and the actual uh, part of the body you're treating. As you can see here, I'm just going to come across the perineal down the outside edge of the right leg in this case, in a massaging effect. As I say, some people would call this myofascial treatment, although we are going to work down onto the in the tendons, this has come down and around the lower part of the lateral malleoli. I don't like to move the treatment head too quickly. I have seen people move the treatment head extremely quickly. I've seen people dig the treatment head in. I don't see any real reason to dig the treatment head in. You're going to get the shockwave from the end of the treatment head anyway, and it would actually pass through and into the patient, no matter how hard you were pressing in. I've actually seen people press into the shoulder extremely hard, as if it will get deeper into the muscle. It won't, depending on your settings. It depends on how deep into the muscle it actually goes. Obviously, the larger the head you have, the more dissipated the energy will be, and so the uh, less distance into the body you're going to go at the same setting or you can just keep turning the machine up to get down to the right level from the literature we know that most radio shockwave machines will go in a maximum of about 3.5 centimeters into the body uh, that's uh, just over an inch and uh, that's going to be more than enough for the perineal in this case so I don't see a lot of point in pressing it into the body and uh, almost using the head as like a second mechanical massager. Once again, we're looking for changes in tone. If there's a deeper tone, a more resonant tone, then uh, we can hover around that area and just do that area over and over again. You can use tone once you get used to listening to how the machine is. A lighter, tinnier tone it usually means the shockwave's not going very far. Uh, a deeper resonant tone usually means that it's found a transition between uh, tissues and it's actually working on that transition, creating some cavitation. Obviously the most common way of working out if you're on the right area is just to see if the patient's in pain. Generally, if they're in pain, you're on the right spot. We've just run out the 2,000 shocks here, and that's the end of the treatment.